everyone, my name is Sonia Leong and I work as a professional manga artist based in the UK and as a member of Sweat Drop Studios. I'm going to show you today how um, I would colour this uh, this uh, piece of line art that I created specifically for Chameleon and uh, for uh, its customers to use. Um, so you can actually download this line art and practice it yourself as well. Um, so I've printed it out in advance uh, so we can hopefully avoid any mistakes uh, or if we make any we can start all over again without wrecking the line art. Um, so yeah, use a laser uh, use a laser printer if you can, if you're going to print it out so that it is um, it's marker proof, okay? So print out the line art uh, using a laser printer so that your lines don't uh, smudge um, and uh, we're gonna start. Now, um, the first thing I always do whenever I approach a, a drawing, particularly using chameleon markers, is um, to lay down all the flats and any light or basic gradients. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by using, um, using a skin tone here, and I'm going to start blending this. I'll just leave it, um, the thing is, always, you know, leave it for longer than you expect because that's, that's, um, it's sort of like a bit safer that way really rather than the other way around. Um, but also make sure you always have a, a piece of test paper nearby just to check and see what sort of, um, what level of blending it's, is happening. Okay, so that's, that's quite, that's quite light, but I'm just going to do a little bit more. So I'm going to start by doing a gradient on the skin, um, uh, sort of like fading, fading, uh, darker up there and fading darker down there. So feel free to rotate the paper because you'll find that it'll be a lot easier to do it that way. Keep going across the whole of the uh, the picture and try to aim for all the areas of skin, bearing in mind where the lighting is likely to come from. I'm going to assume that the lighting is going to come roughly from this top left corner over here. So I'll try to make it so that with all the other areas of skin, uh, we'll go from light to dark in this sort of direction. With the face, it's a little bit more complicated simply because um, they're generally generally due to the contours of the face, there's a little bit more of a, a of shadow up here and then down here, particularly where the hair is, but we're just going to start off by doing some of these light fades first of all. As a general tip, if you want to just blend some of the colour into the edges over there that you've missed, but you don't want to interrupt your flow of the blending of the gradient, use a blender pen just on the edges there, just to make your make your colours sort of like go that little bit further if you need it to. Okay, so we've got a basic gradient on the skin now, so I'm going to add some gradients onto the hair. She's going to be blonde, so we're going to use a yellow colour.
Another useful tip about the hair is to try and aim for there to be a kind of halo or crown to use as a highlight. So you can see here I'm leaving um, the white of the paper specifically for uh, leaving as a highlight in this area. I'm just going to add a tiny little bit of uh, blender. I'm going to start working with the light green. The main part of her dress here is supposed to be a dark green, so I'm going to flat fill this in with a light green first of all, but then the sleeves are a lighter colour, so I will use um, gradients on that. Now I'll switch to doing gradients on the uh, outer folds of the sleeves.
just going to start filling in some of the brown areas here. As it's quite a dark brown, we'll just start with a, a light brown as a basic fill before we add shading later. Our eyes are similar to hair, There's, um, there are certain tricks you could do to make an eye look uh, very sort of round and glossy, and in this case here, if lighting is coming from above, you want there to be a sharp extreme highlight in that top corner, so what you want to do is, to, in order to give it sufficient contrast, you actually um, um, go from light to dark that way, so that the so it's very dark where you manage to put a little highlight in. What we'll do is we'll make it all nice and dark at the very top, and so we'll put some white ink at the top. Mm -hmm. 